Are you ready for your first day of school? You can't sit on everything, honey. Are you so excited, Ezra? Are you so excited to go to your school? All those eggs cook. Adam is from Idaho, so he really likes it cold. It's literally 50 degrees outside. And he's opening all the windows and doors like this is a good thing. Let's find out the kids. <laughs> oh, babies. Ezra is already awake, which is not surprising. If you can see that safety bed, that is where Ezra sleeps. Mommy. Hi, honey. Who first? Should we wake up Ezra first? Well, he's awake. Come here, Ezra. Today is your first day at your new school. All right, now we're going to the light. There you go. Now you can see he's got these awesome jammies that are made to zip in the back, huh? Look, you got your shirt. Got your shirt. What? Yeah. And your pants and your socks. Everything laid out. You ready for your first day of school? At your new school? It's technically a clinic. For therapy, but he gets occupational therapy, physical therapy, and speech therapy. Mommy made eggs. Do you want some eggs? Yeah? Let's have some eggs. Yeah. Right now, Simon only has a couple mattresses on the ground because he's learning how to not fall off his bed before he gets a big boy bed, huh? You're getting pretty good. You fell off once last night, though. And he just gets right back on in because I come and check on him. He's back in his bed. But mommy's room is really close, so I can hear you, huh? Yeah, you like this because you can see yourself. Do you want it? He's grabbing it right now. Okay, let's go. Let's go eat your eggs. Yeah. Good job. Oh, you've got your shoes and sandals and a Gatorade and your sippy cap. Are you going to sit there too? You're going to have a hard time sitting on it. You can't sit on everything, honey. Ezra. Okay. All right, I'll go get your clothes. You can start eating though if you want. Ezra, can we move this, honey? Can we move it? You can still have it. Look, we'll put it right here. We'll put it right there. Good job. So it'll be right next to you. And it's gonna be all organized. Yep. Yep. We have to go. Oh, these are Simon sandals. No, they're Simon sandals. Okay. You want them like that? Like that? Oh, like that. Okay. Okay, but we've got to hurry. We're gonna be late and we we can't be late, actually. That's not an option. So Okay. Good job, you're sitting. And you've got your uh, things that are important to you right there. Okay. Do you want? You don't have to eat all of it, but uh, oh, he's pushing away his eggs. Do you want this drink? Oh, you're gonna. Uh, okay. I'm afraid he's just gonna have his collection. Are you eating your eggs? I think these are mommy's now. I guess. Let's see. What about just a little bit? Just a little bit. Uh, he's kind of spitting up a little bit. He deals with acid reflux, and so he'll gag, and I just want to make sure he is okay. He spit up a little bit. The milk that he had this morning, well, it wasn't milk. It's a replacement drink that he had this morning. I think he just spit all of it up. So he doesn't do very well with breakfast. He hasn't lately anyway. So I think we'll just kind of hold off until he feels better. So there's actually lots of reasons we decided to have Ezra go back to school and not have his therapy at, in home. It was good for a while because we were potty training and he has made progress on that. What's the matter? Oh, your band-aid came off. Do you need a new band-aid? Okay, I'll, Dad, you'll get you a new band-aid when he comes back, okay? Or do you want me to get you a new, new band-aid? No. Okay, usually he wants Daddy to do it. Um. But yeah, so we have lots of reasons why we want Ezra to go back to his clinic. We, we've always known that he enjoys it, and he's also a lot more motivated there because they have fun things like 
like playground and there's a couple ball pits and so he gets to have that interaction socially there's lots of other kids there so Ezra is learning to use his ACC device so we have him take this to school huh and take that to school as well and then you can watch the movies on it and you can communicate and then we also do the spelling at home every day and you can see that video here how we teach him how to spell words and stuff it's two little drinks Strawberries and apples too. I don't know how much is in them. Yeah, and salt and blue. Ezra out also has a couple boxes of crackers that are just like in his cubby there that they pull from. So it's got crackers and, and pretzels there that are gluten free. <coughs> We're excited that he has. <coughs> You're hitting mommy. Is that a good choice? Please don't hit mommy because that, that hurts mommy. What do you want? What are you upset about? Tell me. Tell me. What's the matter? You need to do your hair. I need to teach you how to do your own hair because he, he doesn't like it when I do his hair. Simon doesn't like it. Ezra doesn't mind though. Huh. You guys need to get some haircuts. Simon's going to go to his regular preschool that he has been going to for several months. And Ezra's gonna go to his new school. Hey, Ezra, you ready? Ready to go to school? Yeah? Are right, you carrying your backpack? At home, he's actually been kind of been fixated on certain things, on going outside and like opening a gate like a thousand different times. Like that's like the main thing that he wants to do all day. And so we're hoping that this change will help kids it was crazy but one of the main reasons why we did that too is Ezra he loves the outdoors he loves hiking he loves adventures new things uh, <clears throat> which isn't always the case you know with autism but he loves novelty he loves change he loves things like that and so going on that trip and he's he's used to like going to from campground to campground to campground right and experiencing all these new adventures and so for him to be in a home in the same place every day i think he's kind of struggled with that as well so it's really nice i think to, for him to get out and be able to be in a, a new environment and uh, just get out of the house be with different people friends hopefully that he'll gain at uh, the clinic here that's the main thing that we're working on right now is trying to help him be able to actually communicate um, what he needs and what he wants you know to us through his AAC device and or eventually hopefully learning how to type on the computer so we're hoping the RPM helps with that 829 hun so I'm even one minute early yeah good job guys so now we're gonna drop off Ezra and then we're gonna go drop off Simon huh all right you ready Ezra there you go all right let's go to your school now I hope Ezra has a good day it's always hard when you send a nonverbal child off somewhere it's hard because you don't you don't hear about their day 
You know, it's kind of like having a teenager that just says, fine. We post daily of our unique normal, so please consider subscribing. I hope Ezra's day goes well. We are not allowed to get video um, of any of the other kids, schools, you know, for um, obvious reasons. Please put in the comments what you think about, you know, the difference between at home therapy or in clinic therapy where it's more of a school environment. Mark is getting Ezra in his seat belt. Ezra. Did you have a good day at school? Oh, Ezra, are you tired? You can hold, get, you can go home and relax. Okay, sound good? Ezra, where are you? It was really quiet and we realized Ezra had fallen asleep. He had fallen asleep. Yep, he did. In his own bed. Huh. <sighs> Poor kid. He was tired today. It was a big day. It was a big day. First day back at the clinic, huh? I think for me, like as, as a mom, it's actually really difficult to send your nonverbal autistic child all day somewhere because I want to be there for him. I want to see how he's doing right now which is it's like 6 p.m i opened up his backpack and saw that almost all of his lunch was there so i don't even know how much he ate if he ate very much so that was concerning um i mean i see the the progress on paper that they give me um and they update that daily which is nice it's imperative um but at the same time it's hard it kind of it just, it breaks my heart to not be with him all the time because he can't stand up for himself. He can't say to someone, stop that. And so, um, as a mom, it just takes a lot of trust to, to send him anywhere and not have his therapy at home. So, um, I'm going to talk to them and schedule a time when I can go and just kind of observe and be with him in that um, environment and, s and see for myself like how he's doing, how he likes it and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. We're not allowed to get any video there so I can't show you guys, but I can let you know. <laughs> it's been a big day for Ezra, so hope things go well. We'll keep you updated on how things go. Simon's first day of autism preschool is right here and our autism playlist is here.